Audio Jungle.
Belgium. Alrighty, everyone. Hope you all can hear me. We are in the game of. We are in the game of. Uh, well, like I said, it's not really a game. It's more of a. More of a tech demo. Yeah, it's basically a prototype build. Basically, it's like you're not trying a, like a game. Like basically, you're trying a game that's basically in very early stage of like development. And, yeah, it's like not early access, it's not alpha, it's not a re release, it's basically a prototype uh, build that they could kind of build a game around. So, I mean, in my opinion, I'm hoping to see what the developers do with this overall. overall. So, without further ado, let's jump into this. So, again, we are going to be doing some snow plan. Um, obviously the developers can't really use actual brand names like this grader here is supposed to be based off of a uh, I'm guessing it's supposed to be based off of a cat and this uh, truck here I know it says in continental I think uh, it's supposed to be based off of international but it's a nice truck so we're gonna jump into the truck and I think we're gonna get going. We're gonna learn some controls here. Okay, so let's see. We're gonna start the truck by pressing enter. All right, there we go. Truck is started. Okay, so hazards. We're gonna put on our hazards. Beacon. Uh, Yeah, we're gonna put our beacon lights. There we go. And there we go. We got our beacons. And to raise and lower the blade. There we go. We got our blade lowered. Now we're gonna do some snow plow. We're gonna plow our little driveway here. Oh my, I like the snowplow animations on this game compared to like other games like Farm Sim. I mean, I've done a bit of snowplowing on Farm Sim, it's a lot of fun. Like, you can do you can do a lot of roleplay when it comes to Farm Sim, which at some point I will be looking at doing. Oh, we're driving off into the bush. <laughs> oh my. But look at the truck. I mean, this game, or, or prototype build, sorry. This looks really good, in my opinion. Alright, we're gonna plow ourselves out to the road. I think to raise it up, it was... Okay, there we go. That's what we want to do. Like, I mean, when the developers say if they decide to build a game around this, I'm hoping they do at some point, because I one thing I would like to see at some point, um, I, was, I would like to see kind of more of a first... Oh, we ran into the fence. <laughs> I'd like to see more of a first person's perspective. That's kind of what I'd like to see, a more first-person perspective. 
Alright, let's lower the blade. And, I mean, I'm all for simulator games. I really am. I'd like to see some... A first-person view if they decide to build a game around this. Uh, what else would I like to see? I'd also kind of like to see a... Uh, a, um... There's just a lot I'd like to see that they could do. Like, maybe more vehicles to snowplow with. When I first got into this game, it kind of reminded me of, um... What's the word? Construction... There's construction sims out there. At some point I will play a construction simulator on this stream. So, yeah. Like on this... Ch well, not, not on this... Not on today's stream, but on... A future stream, for sure. Alright, let's... Let's see... Alright, let's lower the blade. We're not doing too, too bad, it looks like. I mean, I could have done this better. Raise the blade. This is pretty good so far. I'm really liking this. Alright. Even for like, I mean, for a tech demo, I'm really enjoying it. Alright. Uh, okay, let's see. Let's push some of this up to the... Maybe we'll push some of the snow up, up and... Or let's raise our blade and... I also hope that if they do decide to build a game around this, I'm hoping they, um... That they maybe decide to, like, give steering wheel support. Alright, let's lower the blade. And back up. Oh, we're gonna push the snow off into the sea container. <laughs> and we'll we'll get it out eventually. Someone can go with, with a shovel. <laughs> push it off and, and we just ran over the fence again. Ah <laughs> oh, man, I'm not really good with the driving mechanics yet on this game. Okay, I think we plowed most of our driveway, so I think we're gonna start planning we're gonna start getting out on the road and plowing our road the road out there. Whoa, 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 we almost went off into the... Uh-oh. Let's push the blade up and see if that helps. Can we go off-road? There we go. Oh no, we are stuck!
Uh, oh my, we are stuck. Is there a reset button somewhere here? Reset, reset, reset. Uh, doesn't look like it. Uh, can we get out? Nope. Nope. Oh, great. Well, <laughs> let's turn off our beacons and our hazards. And looks like the truck. Looks like we're staying here with the truck. Looks like the truck's staying here. <laughs> Looks like we're gonna have to run back all the way to the grater <laughs> and use the grater. Yeah, we're gonna have to use the grater today. Well, <laughs> okay, uh, that was unexpected. Oh <laughs> uh, my. Uh, well, we <laughs> we haven't been snowplow. We haven't. We just started a little snowplow job today, and already we already crashed a company truck. <laughs> All right, so I think we can turn the blade. There we go. There we go. Let's turn the blade. There we go. Okay, I think we need to raise it up just a bit so the wheels are on the ground. There we go. Beacons and our hazards. There we go. Alright, let's not crash this thing. stuck on. I was stuck on something and I don't know what it was. Alright, so I think we're going to plow one side of this road. plow the other side. Okay, that's almost going off into the bush, but let's make sure we don't do that. Look at us snow plowing. I really like the scenery of this game. Like, look at that. It's almost like we're up in Canada. <laughs> Good old Canadian winter. Looks like we got a bit of a parking lot out here. I mean, if I had the truck, I would bring it down here and do it. <laughs> but, yeah, I don't. So we're going to work our way back up the other way and do the other side of the road. There we go. Looks like we got, got it going pretty good.
for anyone who might be just tuning into the stream, hope you're all enjoying this again is the game called, uh, well, not, well, prototype build called Snowplow. Uh oh. Let's try, let's try again, go take a run at. There we go. I thought I was not going to get over that hill. But yeah, it's a prototype build uh, called Snow Snowplow. I mean, it's, it's again, like something they can build a game around. So, I mean, I'm hoping they build a game around this. I would like to see a game like this. Like the plowing mechanics, just look at that. It looks really good for a game of this. Well, it would be pretty good for a game, for sure. So yeah, I'm hoping they do a pro. I hope they build a game around this. All right, we're gonna go back and do the other way. Want to make our way back down that direction we just went down towards that, you know, what I call it. Our, um. We're gonna make our way back down. We're gonna turn our blade this way. About like that. Then we're going to go back down towards that lake. And then after that, we are going to probably look at jumping into Train Sim World here soon. Well, it looks like it's evening starting to roll around. Look at us clearing this road. I'd like again. I'd like to see some sort of a first-person view for this. If they decide to build a game around it, cannot stress that enough. I mean, sometimes I feel I feel like it adds more realism. If you have like first-person views and things like in a first, like a first-person view for a thing like this, you can drive like. And plus, like look at Farm Sim for example. You can do snow plowing on that game. You got a first-person view. Like, it just adds so much realism. Alrighty. Oh, it looks like it's starting to become nighttime. Was it headlights? I think it was. There we go. He N was headlights. Alright, so we're gonna take this plow, we're gonna head back up. Well, this grader, we're gonna head back up to the garage. And. We're gonna park it for the evening. Didn't do the greatest job on this. <laughs> I think I probably could have done better. Oh yeah, it is nighttime. Getting to be. Alright, we're gonna turn off our beacon. And turn our blade. We're gonna raise that up. We still got our hazards. I, mean, I can't even see much. Nighttime is definitely dark on this. Okay, there's where my truck was. We're gonna go back and park the grader. 
in the yard. Then let's turn off our headlights, there we go, turn off our hazards, and turn off the engine. Anyway guys, that was uh, Snowplow, again, tech demo, pretty good, pretty good. I'm hoping they do build a game around this, I'd like to see a game built around this, that'd be fun. And we are now going to switch over to Train Sim World, so... Uh, I will be right back with y'all. Welcome to this M7 electric multiple unit in Long Island Railroad livery. During this brief introduction, we will go through the startup, stopping, and passenger door operations. A lot of time will be spent in the engineer's seat. Alrighty guys, welcome back. We are now on the game Train Sim World. We are doing uh, the Long Island Railroad here. We're 
going to be doing this, running this uh, subway, driving this uh, subway train that's coming towards us. Uh, okay, engineering work uh, means this service is only running as far as Jamaica. Being a quick run, you're only afforded a short turnaround before coming back to it. Okay, so we need to sit in the engineer seat of the trains, which is back this way. Oh, looks like we gotta go this way. Let's go around. I really like the graphics on this game, I will say that. Graphics on this game are pretty well, like, they're really well done. Oh. Oh, it's that train over there, okay. Well, let's go find, uh, let's go back to the staircase and we're gonna go underneath the platform. Alright, oh, we got a little reward for doing that. Okay, so this is our train. This is the train we're going to be using. Alright, we're going to close that door. Alright, let's sit in our engineer seat. Let's turn on our cab light. Activate the master key. Set the reverser. The master key is on. Now we need to set the Set the reverser to set it to neutral and light uh, headlights headlights headlights. Where's our headlights? There's our cab lights. Where's our headlights? Gauge light. That's our gauge lights. Marker lights on. Wiper. Brightness. I feel like we're missing headlights uh, somewhere. Ah, there we go. Well, let's set it to bright. Master controller. Uh, we need to set it to... And I think you need to charge the brakes. Alright, activate the master key, set the reverser, yes. Maybe we need to go forward, neutral, reverse. There we go, that's what we need to do. We need to charge our, that was, I knew we needed to charge the brakes to about 90. Now we need to unlock the doors. Uh, I think we need to, un let's unlock both for now. And we're gonna let both, with, we're gonna let our passengers get on the train. Passengers are getting on. Again, really like the graphics of this game. You can get up, walk around, explore the stations. You can't really leave the stations, which kind of sucks. But, let's open up that. Like, you can go back here, sit in any seat. I can explore this underground station. You can find, you can put up signs, that sort of stuff, around the station, you can do lots of different stuff. But 
anyway, we are going to sit back in the engineer seat. We're going to lock the doors. There we go. The new Long Island Railroad today. Alright, now uh, we need to stop at the location, which is about 1.6 miles. Alright, we got. Let's set our reverser to forward. Alright, where we got one, two, three. There we go. And we can have our cab light off if we want to, but I'm going to leave it on so I can see what I'm doing. We're going about 8 miles per hour, 9 miles per hour, 10. Well, let's decrease to coast. Let it coast. Because we don't really want to go too, too fast. Hope everyone's enjoying so far. Again, we are playing Train Sim World. And... Yeah, I'm not sure how many stops we have to do for our scenario. We're going to do at least as much as we can before before the end of our stream today. Today is only going to be roughly an hour. But yeah, I'm hoping that today we'll be we'll get as much stops in as we can on Train Sim World and you'll get a bit of action sort of Train Sim action in there. I do got my coffee this morning. Set this to min power. There we go. To one for now. I want to be able to go a little bit faster at some point. Come on, we want to go faster. This is slow. Oh, wait, there we go. Now we can go a little faster. Increase our speed just a bit. This is why it's a good idea that I left my cab light on, because let's, well, I mean, then again we got lights right now. We got a bit of a radio right here. Like, the detail in this game is really good. I really... kudos to the developer on this game. Like, they did a really good job. Like, look how detailed these train, this train is as well. And this game came out, um... I think 2020, 2019, um... Somewhere around there. Oh, let's decrease our speed. Then let her coast. Alright, looks like we're coming up to our first stop. Let's uh, start our braking. Oh, it's raining too. There's gonna be a wiper somewhere here. Let's put it on low. Let our coast on in here. Oh. 
All right, now we need to unlock the doors. Unlock our right side. And let's charge up those brakes. Unless, actually, I don't think we need to, maybe we might not have to charge the brakes, I don't know. But we are loading up our passengers. <coughs> Hope all, I'm hoping you all are enjoying so far. Okay, we gotta lock our doors. Okay. Mm. Mm. Hmm. Guess we don't need to charge our brakes. Okay, let's put it. There we go. Leaving the station. And now we can increase our speed. Like, look at this city. Like, look at this. I know it's raining. I shouldn't have probably opened the window. Oh no, I'm getting wet. <laughs> uh, I'm getting wet. Oh no. <laughs> um. Uh, Look at the cars down there too, hey? I mean, it's just amazing. Like, you can also ride trains like this as a passenger, which is kind of cool. Oh, let's decrease our speed. Let's not go too fast. <laughs> Uh, oh yeah, we're going too fast. Put our brake on just a bit. Hey guys, um, just so everyone knows, um, hmm, well, anyway, hmm, we're coming up to our next stop. And we're going to put about 27% break on this. Maybe about 30% because we're coming up to this uh, next stop. Turn off the brake. Let her coast in. All right, we're coming into the station.
time says it's uh, 12.40. Oh, Alright now. Alright, let's really put that brake on just so we can slow down just a bit. About there should do it. We just passed that little marker, but we're good. Alright, let's leave it at max brake and let's unlock the right. Okay, let's turn. I guess we might need, might not need our wiper right now. Let's turn off the wiper for now. If it's still raining when we are finished, then yeah. Hmm. Hope you're all enjoying. Again, I'm hoping you're all enjoying the stream so far. Pretty soon we'll be coming close to the end of it. Okay, so doors are locked. Okay, awesome. Lock right. Alright, so far so good. Alright, let's put this in... Let's go three. As we leave the station. Anyone who's joined the Discord will have got a bit of an announcement that uh, I did have to push this uh, this stream that we're doing today. I was supposed to do it on Monday, but uh, things just kind of got busy, so I had to push it back to today. And... Yeah. Alright, let's make sure we don't go too, too fast. Okay, so our next stop is like Jama Jamaica, Jamaica, I'm not sure how it's pronounced. <laughs> oh my, but we're about 4.7 miles away. I think, I know, I think I know this scenario is probably going to have us head back to the uh, opposite direction. So, I mean, for this stream, we're probably not going to have the time to do that. Because today's stream is, like, again, it's roughly going to be about an hour. So, yeah, we're probably not going to have really a whole lot of time to do the rest of the scenario if they have us head back. But if not then I mean that's good. Hey look at that we get to go a lot faster. Let's speed her up. All right, we're going up to looks like 70. Not bad. Again hope anyone who's watching right now hope you all are enjoying. We're playing some train sim world. Uh, but yeah, uh, the best part about one thing about this game is you can literally just kind of sit back and watch the train do its thing. Let's see, if we were to turn, oh yeah, yeah, if you were to turn, like in this tunnel, if you were to turn the cab lights off, it, you don't really see much, but we're leaving them on.
All right, we're holding at a steady, a steady pace. In two seconds, everyone, I will be right back. Okay. Sorry about that, everyone. I am so sorry about that. I am back. And huh, I do apologize. Uh, so anyway, we are back. Okay. All right, let's finish this run, shall we? Uh. Alright, we're gonna finish up this run. We only have a roughly, I would say a few minutes, roughly, to finish this run. Maybe explore the station, do a little bit of stuff, like maybe put up some signs in the station. Oh my god, we're going, oh my gosh, we're going like 76. Let's put it down to min minimum break. We're going to really have to start slowing down here. 48. Start slowing down by a lot. All right. There we go. We're coming into the station. We're coming into the station, everyone. No, nope. not what I wanted to do. That's what I wanted to do. The door. Hey, everyone, we're coming into the station. <laughs> That was funny. Just give it a bit more power. We're not far from the station now, which is great.
Alright, we're coming into the station, so we're gonna need to start slowing down. I didn't even know we had our wiper. Alright, now we need to unlock uh, the doors. Let's unlock our right side. And load up the passengers. Or unload passengers, I guess. One of the two. Okay, and lo uh, lock. Alright, so now. Alright, so now we need to put the headlights off. And then we need to put the reverser key. Is it? Come on, let me turn it off. There we go. It says to head to the other end of the train, so. No, I don't want to do that. We're going to do that. Um, we're going to. While well, we're headed to the other end of the train. Or. Mm. I know it's telling us to do that, but we're not going to be able to do that because uh, I only got about well, roughly five minutes left. But we're going to explore a bit of the station while we're here for the last couple minutes. Okay, so we can't go down that way. Where else can we go? Can we go up? Hey, would you look at that? We can go up. Look at this. We can go up here above the platform. Okay, so we got some locker it looks like some lockers or something up here and we got elevators we got some seats to sit in wait in while we wait for our train <laughs> nice all right so this is the one that we came up right here um yeah Is there no signs you can put up here? Hmm. I'm not seeing any signs. Hmm. What about up there? If we go up there, can we put a sign up there or anything? Okay, this is more of an enclosed thing. This is kind of cool. Look at this. This is cool. I'm going to show you guys again this little our startup procedure before we end our stream. Let's turn our cap light on. forward now we need to charge our brakes now 
Now we get a long way to New York, everyone. And, yeah. Uh, cab lights are on, marker lights, do we need those on? Let's just leave those on. But yeah, we are, we got our train set up and we're ready to go. And, yeah. Um, with that being said, um, to be honest, that's gonna be the end of our stream here, everyone. Yeah, that's gonna be the end of our stream here, everyone. So I hope you all enjoyed. Um, I gotta get these passengers to where they need to go. <laughs> yeah, I need to get these guys where they need to go. So, I will see you all for our playthrough stream tomorrow. And in the meantime, keep your controllers charged, everyone.